Hello, what's up, and what's up? Welcome back for yet another Miles Dawkins 24 7 production. And today, my friends, the football season is finally coming to an end, and it always makes me sad. Today, they're going to be playing the national championship game for the college football playoff. The first time it's going to be a true national championship. I guess you could say that, right? And it's going to be between the Ohio State University and the Oregon Ducks. So we're, we're going to dive into that game. Obviously, yesterday, the divisional round wrapped up in the NFL. We know who's going to be representing the AFC. We got the Colts and the Patriots. And we have the Packers and the Seahawks in the NFC. So football season's coming down. Yes, the divisional round is the best week in football. But it's also the saddest week in football. Because after the championship game, what well, championship, we can get two games. And then it's the Super Bowl. And then it's over. Nobody, nobody really counts the Pro Bowl. I watched the Pro Bowl just to see the, the players interact with one another. You know, seeing teams that really don't get along like Niners, Seahawks, Ravens, uh, Ravens, Steelers, Packers, Bears. You know, see those guys interact with one another is cool you know to see that interaction but besides that nobody really cares about those games man but talking about this guy a lot of people have Oregon walking away with the easy victory Oregon's been what top two top three team the whole year Ohio State was kind of flirting with like five and six place but they kept on you know producing they kept on playing good I believe they lost to Virginia Tech early in the season but they went undefeated from that point and they crept and they just kept going kept going then what they lose their second string quarterback who was actually going to be a Heisman finalist the way that he was playing but we all know that Marcus Mariota he was going to win it regardless he had a phenomenal season put up crazy numbers there's crazy numbers especially with the offense that is catered to his skill set um you get the third string quarterback in for jones uh, jones he comes in as a third string quarterback excuse me for the ohio state university and he plays phenomenal he played phenomenal in that big 10 title game a lot of people was like oh how are they going to win how are they going to beat wisconsin with a third string quarterback and they put a beat down on Wisconsin wasn't even close that defense did their thing and then fast forward to the Sugar Bowl versus Alabama and they did their thing there too the defense did enough to keep Alabama from getting you know deep into their territory often they stopped them from getting into the end zone they made big plays they got the ball back for the offense through turnovers and three and outs and stuff like that and that defense stepped up big and of course Mr. Elliott Ezekiel Elliott on the ground did his thing and not too many people saw Ohio State beating Alabama yes maybe if you live in Columbus you live in Ohio you probably was like you know yeah we got this but nobody else was with y'all I guarantee y'all that not too many people maybe Auburn maybe those people in Auburn they were with you but besides that I don't think too many people actually believe that Ohio State could get it done but that's why we love sports that's why we love football because there's so many upsets and that's what we love so the question is can Ohio State upset Oregon I think it's possible and here's why like we said or like I said versus Wisconsin they blew that team out and nobody really thought that they was going to do that nobody thought it was going to be Alabama so this team for whatever reason feels like they can be anybody in the country and guess what they have for the most part and I know a lot of people who root for Baylor a lot of people that root for TCU feels like they should be in it but hey you're not so let it go but anyways I really feel like Ohio State can win this game if they do a couple of things one protect the football Two, keep running that ball. And three, the defense has to figure out a way to contain Marcus Mayer. Not to stop him, but to contain him. Every single game this year, every single game that Oregon has played, that defense on the other side of the ball has been confused. Even the game that they lost versus Arizona, that Arizona defense at times looked confused because there's a lot of moving parts, a lot of different formations, a lot of different stack receiver sets, a lot of different read options and zone plays and all this other crap that Oregon does. The quicker that, uh, that, all, that Ohio State can figure them out, the quicker that defense is going to just be able to lock in, do what they do, stop the run, try to stop the run, and force Marcus Mariota to pass the ball. Now, of course, he's a tremendous college quarterback, so he will be able to make some plays with his arms, obviously. But at the end of the day, if they can minimize his big plays, they will have a chance because that's what Florida State did. Florida State minimized Oregon's big plays. I know what you're thinking. Well, Florida State, that got blown out, so who cares, man? But remember, at halftime, that game was close. Coming out coming out of the second half, 
Florida State turned the ball, I believe they turned the ball over like four straight times. Okay, you're not going to win ball games if you turn the ball over four straight times and that leads to 28 unanswered points. It's not going to happen. So again, if Ohio State can protect the football, they're going to be just fine. If they can run the ball, they're going to be just fine. And as soon as that defense can maybe figure out Marcus Mariota and what Oregon likes to do, they're going to have a chance. Now, on the Oregon side of the ball, that defense, I, if, I'm, if I'm Oregon, I'm trying to shut down the run game. I'm, I'm not going to let Devin Smith, number nine, the receiver from Ohio State, get behind me. That's basically what happened. That's basically what happened. The, the Ohio State Buckeyes defense, they were able to lock in on, on what Alabama wanted to do offensively, right? So they kind of shut down the Alabama offense from time to time throughout the Sugar Bowl. Then, they, then Ohio State was able to get big plays, chunk plays. They were able to get big-time chunk plays with Devin Smith in the passing game, just like they did in that Big Ten title game. Big-time chunk plays, so that made the defense – Alabama and force Alabama just like a force Wisconsin to take that eight man out the box and then Mr. Elliott went crazy so Oregon don't let Devin Smith get deep try to take away the running game try to make somebody else beat you try to make another receiver beat you make Jones stay in the pocket and, and he he has a strong he might have the strongest arm in college football that boy can throw the ball a country mile but at the end of the day make another receiver beat you that's what I'm going to try and do if I'm working. And, of course, let Marcus Mariota do what he does. So if I had to make a prediction for this game, which I don't really like doing, I think it's going to be a defense of slugfest in the first quarter. Most of these championship games are. And then I think we're going to see the offenses start to get things going in the second quarter into the third quarter. And I think it's going to be close until we get to the fourth quarter. And then I think that Oregon will start to separate itself. And I think Oregon is going to win by 10. If I had to put a number on, I'll say 38 to 28 Oregon on top. But again, I do feel, I truly feel that Ohio State can pull off the upset because they did it before in the national championship game, and that was versus the University of Miami, and that Miami team was stacked. We're talking about Willis McGahee at running back, a Heisman finalist at the time, uh, a Heisman hopeful in the beginning of the year was Cullen Winslow Jr. at tight end. You know what I mean? He was a first-round pick. You're talking about Vince Wilfork. You're talking about Jonathan Vilma. You're talking about Andre Johnson. We're talking about maybe future Hall of Famers in the NFL was on that team and Ohio State they really didn't have anybody on that team outside of Chris Gamble and, and Maurice Claret. I mean they did have Will Smith who, who did make a solid NFL career and stuff like that but the U was so superior to the Ohio State team but Ohio State still got the job done in that and yeah there might have been a bad call here and there late in that game but nonetheless the record books they would show that Ohio State did their thing in that game and got the win I believe it was in double overtime double overtime man but that's basically gonna wrap this one up again these videos are just for fun not trying to predict the winner through the uh, through the gameplay you can see that I was controlling Oregon and we got our butts handed to us. <laughs> I threw, I think I threw three picks with Marcus Mariota, so it was bad. But hey, don't judge me off of this one gameplay. But we're down by 14. We would almost put the ball in the end zone on that play, but we would come back right here on first and goal and get that thing into the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon. Then we would go for the onside kick, but we would not get it. So if you're still around, if you're still sticking around to the end of this video, make sure you let me know what you think of the video. Let, make sure you let me know who you think is going to win the national championship game. And that's going to wrap this one up. So hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. I enjoyed bringing it to you. I'm your man, Miles Dawkins 24 7 I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And I'm going to see y'all later. Peace. Hot sauce.